What's up guys, so today I'm going to be going back to what my channel was originally for, which is Lego. I'm going to be looking at this Lego Chevrolet Camaro NASCAR, and it's really cool. But also, before we start, I made this new Discord server, and it would be really nice if you could join and even invite a lot of your friends. The link for that is in the description in case you are wondering, but yeah, let's get into the video now. So this is the car, it's a... Uh Chevrolet Camaro. It has way too many stickers in it. And you can see Camaro on the back. I don't know what this means. It's 75, which I think was a pretty iconic number in the NASCAR race. And yeah, the main colors are red, blue, and white. Because I think since NASCAR was an American race, uh, that's an American flag. So, first let's see how this works. Because if you look at the bottom, if you don't know what, le what if you're not like some kind of Lego genius, you'd probably be very confused right now. Uh, but I'll try to explain as much as I know. So, one of the first parts is if you move, it has a differential. So, weird for a race car, but if you move one wheel, they can move separately. Like this one i don't know if you can see but this one is moving in this direction and the other one is moving in the other direction but something cool is if you move both of the wheels at the same time the whole gear the whole thing moves and yeah it goes up here so yeah that's one of the first parts second thing is the steering mechanism it's not like a normal car where you can just turn it like this it actually has its own steering mechanism over here so you can just steer it like over here so how this works is basically connected to this gear which just moves and moves this black you can't see this black gear down here and what this does let me put this back. It moves this one. You can't really see well, but it's basically this. It It's like the black gear above moves this green gear. And it basically moves this blue gear on the axis, comes all the way and steers the car. So that's how it steers. But there's still one final system, which is probably ooh, my the reason I like this car so much in the first place. You can open the hood up, but that's not why. But you can see inside, there's a bunch of little pistons. And what you probably not know is that when you move the when the two back wheels move, the pistons move. So basically, the way they do this is, I'll flip it over again. It, it detects this thing when when the whole thing is moving. It basically, instead of going on the top axis, because this is for steering, if you can see through the, this, and you can see that this one actually turns this one down here. And it's connected to these randomly placed triangle like technic pieces. Maybe some genius in the comment will name what they're actually called. But they're put at the different angles that when the pistons, they can fall through. So when when the, the thing moves at the bottom, it basically moves these and the pistons can like fall in or get pushed out by these weird triangle things okay so that's the end of the video remember to like and subscribe and remember to join my discord server because the link is in the description bye